uh, hi everyone so in this video we are going to talk about different relationships which we have created from entity when we are running npm run db sync what it is doing is it is just creating all the entities so from continuing from the previous video uh, we are test a shell so this is our shell and what we can do is npm run db sync this is the command we have it will run the db sync and migration you can see the command schema sync and npm run db migrate both are there in the package of json and we are going to get a relationship something like this in the database so i just created one dummy uh, entity like article also otherwise user post and comments should be fine i just wanted to show how this one is to many relationship we are creating so user has a relationship with the three different tables comments post and article which is one to many one you single user can have can create a multiple comments can create multiple articles can create multiple post similarly the post will belongs to a one user will have a many comments you can see this post and comments will have a one to many user and post will have a one to many user and comment will have one to many user and article will have one to many article and comment again will have a one to many or we say that comment and article is having many to one comment and post is having many to one so all these relationships how we are binding them depends on how we are structuring these entities so we are just creating entities and then we are doing npm run db sync and what it is doing you can see all the queries it has executed and this is our database look like now we have a lot of tables inside it and you can see the migration table migration has should have a single entry like this is what create user migration we have created which is just entering some data in the user table you can see the password hash value and user id email password okay and if you see there the article this is the article table columns article comments post and tags these are the other tables which we have in system okay how we created them how we are defining the relationship that is important part because it's all about annotations we are defining in the entities and based on those annotations we are creating these entities in the database so first of all user from this diagram we can see that user has a relationship with uh, let's go to the diagram user has a relationship with uh, post article and comment which all are one to many so how we define them one to many one to many one to many all the associations so user has a one to many with the post user has one to many with article user has one to many why there is a repetition okay this we can remove okay there are only three tables one to many with the comments because user can have put more, many comments user can create many articles user can create many post all are one to many relationship now this is the one way we have defined these one to many annotations in a uh, user collection or user entity now what should we add respective to this in the post entity on the article entity on the comment entity let's see first comment in the context of user and comment okay user can add many comments so it's a one to many so what we need to add in the comment entity so in the user there will be comments will be a column articles posts will be a column added so if you just see these are references which we have created uh i'll just try to show so this is my user and the reference of this user id we should have inside the post so if we just try to see i think this should give me the columns or index yes so this is the foreign key index it has been added in this post column similarly in the article yes so here we can see a little bit more so article has author id which is nothing but a user id similarly the post post has a user id so user id is a primary key it is a foreign key here and we have a comments comments again uh, id is a primary key and we have comments can be having user id post id and article id because it is having uh, many to one kind of relationship 
I just put a dummy relationships. Uh, okay, so now if you see, just try to see user and post. User has one too many, so let's see the post. How, what relationship we need for user to be added in the post. Okay, here you see many to one is it means many posts will have a one user. It is pointing to the user entity. So whenever you wanted to fetch the posts with user, you will be able to access that using user dot posts because posts is a column in the user entity. Okay, here if you just see here I already created posts. Same thing in the article. If uh, I mean in the user we have already defined article. So same thing in the articles. Many to one type user and user dot articles right so after defining this article in the user in the article also we have to define the many to one relationship which is like this is the type user and uh, user dot article and you can also define you wanted to fetch eager or lazy in these definitions the comments I, I'm, I'm just trying to show the annotations they literally are not correct annotations I have placed here and there but this is running the migrations and we are able to get the data like in the tags doesn't have any relationship user and comments we can see so in the comments you can see many to one because in the user we are storing we are referencing with the comments so in the user we have the comments relationship here what all comments user has been placed same relationship is here eager is true on delete cascade so this is on delete is used on delete cascade and delete is used to maintain the integrity of the data if a primary key parent reference has been removed or deleted then there is no use of keeping that foreign key in another table so we can just use cascade delete and cascade update okay so this is just about relationship now once we have these entities created now we can now we are at the stage where we will write our services and we will be using accessing these entities using get repository and then we will be just writing the repository dot save repository dot create repository dot find all these queries we would be able to run in this module we are also running one single migration so migration is nothing but uh, it will have up and down query so here we can write a custom query we can execute that query we can seed the data all these things we can perform here Okay, so here I'm trying to insert a data. It's not the right way of doing it. We, we should not be hard coding the password. Instead of that, what you will do is, uh, you will be just generate a hash somehow and provide the hash of that password here itself. Okay, so user will not know what is the actual password even by looking at the code. Okay, thanks everyone.